Guess what, everyone? Do you know what time it is? <laughs> Do you know what this is? <laughs> okay, one evil laugh is enough. Hey guys, name is Fen, this is Thief Deadly Shadows, and I'm about to start the Shale Bridge Cradle. Are you seriously frickin' ready? Then let's begin. The Shale Bridge Cradle. It used to be an insane asylum, and before that, it was an orphanage. One night a fire started, no one knows how, and after that, they left the place abandoned. If there's a way to cram more misery into one building's history, I can't think of it. I'm here to learn about the old woman who attacked me in the Keeper compound. Drept said he saw the hag here at the orphanage long ago, when his childhood friend was murdered. He's never dared to come back, but I don't think I have much choice. It's a thin lead, but it's all I have left. I've never robbed an orphanage before, and I can't say I'm looking forward to this visit. There's no telling what I'll find inside. I'm used to the dark, but this feels like a house with bad dreams. Oh, the house of bad dreams. <laughs> Guess what, Bing? There it lies. The beginning of one of the greatest horror levels ever done at any time in history. Now that I've hyped it up too much, <laughs> seriously, that's the cradle. My objectives are search for more information about the hag, steal 40% because I'm on freaking normal because seriously, I'm not tolerating that expert nonsense. Now, I mean, I guess I'll find special loot items if they're in my way or whatever, but seriously, this mission is supposed to be experienced. And honestly, that's what I intend to do. <laughs> Everything's dead around it. Um, guys, I, I'm not sure how my, I'm really going to do this. Because my normal commentary style is very, you know, happy-go-lucky and wacky and, you know, and or comedically angry. Whereas this sort of has a lot more atmosphere. So I really have no idea how I would handle that. But as you can see, it's kind of scary, I guess. Can I get up onto those balconies? I don't remember doing so, but I must have. Because, yeah. I wonder if a ghost will tell me to run for my life. <laughs> well, not right now, anyway. Jeez, it's so freaking spooky. You know what's the spookiest thing? I don't know what it is about that, but just making it go at that slow a speed... It's so freaking scary, I don't know why. But, yeah. Let's close it behind me for extra spook factor if I even can. Oh. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I've played this a whole bunch of times, so... Yes, I know what happens. I know every event that happens and what goes on, but man, this is still scary. Just... All the lights are off. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that ambience? It was better before. There are too many rules to remember. Don't go here. Don't touch that. Don't talk to the patients. The doctors are just as scary as the patients. Miss Arthur says orphans shouldn't complain. Yes. So not only was it asi an asylum and then an orphanage, but it was both at the same time. Holy hell. <laughs> I have a map again for some reason. So there's a morgue, there's a nursery. <laughs> they put those together for the psychological effect. Birth and death, I guess. Staff tower, white hall. Well, it looks pretty small. I guess it'll probably be in and out quick, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Brilliant. We know where this game's entire time and money budget went. And you know, 
Most of the game is sort of visibly flawed, but if it's because they were concentrating their resources towards this, well, I forgive them everything. Search for more information about the hag. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I want to go down, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Around any corner could be an enemy. I guess this is how I'm handling it. Frightened and terrified, even though I know. I know this mission, but... And probably most people watching do too. Whoa. <laughs> Generators and boilers and furnaces are scary. But I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who might not. But if you haven't, then go play this for yourself. But... Unless you don't want to. That... Whoa, what? Is that my shadow? It's green. It looks like a graphical glitch, but it actually looks really scary because of it. Case number seven. C. Pins. Patient history. Entry one. Admitted to hospital for observation and treatment by her family. Completely unresponsive to questions or the presence of others. Due to her sensitive age, recommend she be placed under Dr. Sandbridge's expert care, Dr. Hanscombe. Entry two. Told the family today that subject will never be well enough to return home. As proof, I showed them her cell, which of course is grotesquely outfitted in the same way as the murder scene. I believe on some level they were relieved. Entry 3. The board has decided to allow her continued visits to the balcony with her birdhouse. <laughs> oh... What is going on here? I don't know, but I'm not touching anything. I briefly considered playing on expert with a loot list, but I feel as if even that would detract my mood from others' moods. I could go in there. I suppose I will. Just get a little sneak preview. Well, shit. I touched something. Here we go. Case number six, F. Topper, patient history. Entry one, brought in by City Watch, hysterical, carries an urn that contains the ashes of what authorities think might be her own infant, refers to self as Mama Topper, could prove a difficult case to cure. Entry two, efforts to take the infant ashes away are always met with the same self-destructive behavior. For now, we see no harm in allowing subject to carry them with her during a weekly walk in the exercise yard. Inform Dr. Hanscombe I approve the use of his experimental heat therapy. Ho <laughs> ho Boy, these doctors are fucked up. I tell you what. The, the, the lights... The lights that are off are so freaking scary. I'm not going in there, man. I don't know what went on here, but I tell you what, it was nothing good. Okay, well, let's get out of that basement. <gasps> it's a testament to how freaking amazing the atmosphere here is, that even though I know the mission, and what is and what isn't going to happen, and when it's going to happen, I'm still kind of creeped and freaked out. Creeped and freaked out. Same time. Damn. Okay. Okay, that's the entrance. Let's... What was he on upwards? Up is a safe direction, right? Everything good is skyward. Everything good is up. If I just keep climbing, I'm sure to reach a nice place. I'm certain of it. Oh. Just keep sneaking. Just keep sneaking. And no one will touch you. Uh, okay. Let's save. We're safe. Alright. Potions, items, we're good. Ah. Okay. Nice and Nice and good. Ah. <gasps> ah! 
Ah! No! Ah! 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 Get away! Get away! Ah. I guess this door might lead outside. I can't get out. Uh -huh. Okay. There's the knocking. <gasps> Gonna stop. Okay. <sighs> I mean, yeah. So I'm acting. Big deal. This level's freaking creepy. Well, still startles me though. <laughs> but let's let's let's. See. Jesus, let's see the source of that noise. Uh. It's behind the door. <gasps> huh? <laughs> I certainly did. Oh boy. Well, nobody's here. She looks familiar. It's that Keeper Translator girl. But that can't be. This portrait must be as old as the building. I can hear you breathing. Nobody here in the cradle does that anymore. How did you get in? My name is Laurel. Something changed when you saw my picture. That's why you can hear me now. I want to leave here, but I can't. The cradle won't let any of us go. Will you help me? They filled up a bottle with my blood. It's down in the storm cellar. It's very dark down there. Please find the bottle and drop it into a drain pipe so it will end up outside. It's important. <laughs> oh, okay. Find a vial of Laurel's blood in the storm cellar and drop it down a drain pipe. There's a drain pipe in the lobby. For some reason there's this fuse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Find a fuse and use it to repair the generator in the storm cellar. Well, I haven't been ordered to do that, but it's kind of right there. Also, some lovely voice work by, I believe, Terry Brocious. Brosius, whatever. A broses, a broses, a bros. Right? She did, she did, she did those voices for Shodan and Victoria, right? Well, I think it's the same person. I'm not too sure, though. Well, I am pretty sure. But anyways, let's, 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 let's go down and do the little questy quest. Hopefully, uh, nothing will jump out in the meantime. But I guess I'll try going this way. Well, here's another bear. What? I've never heard that before. Is that the attic door closing? Holy shit, it must be. I didn't want to have my picture painted, but I was too scared to say no. I guess I did it right because he said I sat good and still. That may seem like just a little line, but you'll see the terrifying significance of that later on. Turn on light bulb. God. I feel bad even cutting, cause this thing needs to be seen to be believed. Like, what is this chair? Just, <laughs> it's just eerie. It's like an evil throne for some undead being. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this must be the nursery. What do you know? I'm probably gonna have no problem finding 90% loot. Oh, my shadow is freaking me out here, even. This one time, probably gonna have no problem, and I'm gonna feel like a fool! But, wow, there's a lot of health potions. There must be something dangerous going on. Somebody's gonna run up behind me while I'm picking the lock. You just are totally aware of it. I guess this is the way, time when I don't comment and just leave the atmosphere to speak for itself. Except then it's almost like not a let's play, but... 
It's only 7% loot. So, yeah. Let's, let's go down to the freaking lobby with a cage. Everything here is a cage. It's so freaking dark and depraved. These are storm drains, I, 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 in case you didn't know. Now I'm looking at stuff in my room in real life and being creeped out. Dr. Ranker, we all agree that lobotomizing several of the most violent cases may solve our uprising problem. Your silver surgical kit is already in the lobotomy theater, awaiting your arrival. Several of the other physicians will be observing today so that we can increase the number of procedures performed in the very near future. As you suggested, sometimes more can be learned from a surgery performed incorrectly, so we'll keep the training to a minimum. I had a chance to look over your surgical kit. Custom made, eh? Must be quite valuable. Don't let the patients know it's silver. It's sure to go missing. Sandbridge. Well, I guess we find out just how sick and depraved this place really is. Oh, look at this. This is why I asked what the hell was that doing in that keeper place, because it originates here. All right, well, one of these sides contains an exit, lobby, and the other, some other thing. Wow, the architecture here is amazing, and everything's like a maze and blocking everything off from each other. <laughs> what have we here? That didn't work. Maybe there's a fuse box in the basement. Indeed. Emergency lockdown portcullis. Well, that gets me further in as if I'd ever want to go further in. But back here in the lobby, I kind of want to go around this place a little bit more. As there is some more creepy, twisted stuff here, I guess. Still. Treasurer's office. Well, as a thief. This looks pretty appealing, I guess, because this building is very appealing, I guess. Heat therapy to ameliorate dampness and hyper-emotive patients by Dr. William Hanscombe. Patients whom have lost touch with reality often have a marked dampness to their extremities, a clamminess of the hand, a sweatiness of the foot. These symptoms result from an excess of emotive humors that are trapped within the individual due to bile deficiency. Although electrical regimes are often used with this type of patient, I have also had great success with the application of heat. The heat must be of the dry variety, as hot water submersion only exacerbates symptoms by increasing emotive humors. The hot elements must be laid directly on the skin to draw away the excesses of moisture. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, here I am in, in the storm cellar. Let's have a look, shall we? I need a vial of blood. Yeah. That's the cage where they used to put the new patients until a cell opened up. You should stay out of there, or the cradle might see you and try to keep you here forever. <laughs> Glad to oblige. Oh, this one must be hers. It's still warm. Great. <laughs> this thing makes me want to play more horror games for some reason. Yes. That's good. The bottle is outside now, where the cradle can't see it. I have to get rid of all my things. The cradle uses them to remember me. That's how it keeps me here. There's a ward here called Whitehall, where they kept the very bad patients. One of them took my nightgown back to his cell. It's still there. Please get my nightgown, and then burn it up in the morgue. Took her nightgown, eh? Sounds like a despicable fellow. All right. Retrieve Laurel's nightgown from the White Hall and then incinerate it. This definitely isn't going to be a fetch quest, but then again, what else are you going to do? You got a horror level, you need some gameplay to make you go all around in it. Fetch quest is as good as anything. 
and it's so freaking creepy that you probably won't even care. So, next time, I'll go through the cradle some more, but this time, I'm getting out of here. See you guys later. Bye.